What's up, you guys? My name is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbie. If you guys are new to my channel, Cancer, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading. Taps you side to everybody in between. Don't forget basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. This is a free oracle card reading for the month of June of 2022 for sign of Cancer. This could resonate if you have cancer in any aspects of your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or snow, be tamed with Jupiter charts. I encourage everyone to check out their um, sun, moon, rising, or north node um, signs um, if you choose to do so. And cross watchers are always welcome. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. If you feel guided to do so, you can donate at High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below if you feel guided to do so. Okay, so um, I received a couple channel messages in for you, Cancer. Um, I heard Cancer, and then I received some channeling, so it was my cue to do y'all next. So um, I'm going to deliver it. it. This is for the month of June of 2022, uh, month of June for the year 2022. However, um, you know, we still have like approximately 10 days left of um, May. So for some of you guys, it could start resonating now, for some June, for some, you know, past June. There's millions of millions of people in the world and tons of cancer. So for some of you guys, you know, it could resonate outside the June time frame. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. So you plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates for you. I just heard get one more tea leaf too, so I'm going to. Sanctuary, spiritual love, the most difficult part of the situation is over. Spirit messages you have for a sign of cancer. Okay, so the channel messages I received was um, a, a cancer that once looked at a person um, in a very, very high light. They're about to have a huge, some have already had a huge wake up call, some are about to have a huge wake up call that they are really a wolf in sheep's clothing. And I heard for some it's your mother, for some it's your father. For some, it was it's a current lover. For some, it's a former lover. For some, it's a prostitute. So you plug it in, how it resonates in your own life, Cancer. Um, some of you guys have already realized this person is like a wolf in sheep's clothing, it sounds like. For some, you're about to realize they are. Um, for some of you guys, it's your, it sounds like your own mother, your own biological mother is what I'm feeling, or someone you consider a mother figure, I'm presuming. For some, it's your father or someone you consider to be a father type figure. For some, it's a lover. For some, it's a current uh, former lover. And for some, it's a prostitute. So you plug it in in your own life. However, that resonates. If that resonates for you, Cancer. It's a long but strong one. I heard get another one, but my Lord, it's taking forever. Spirit messages you have some cancer. September. Spirit messages you have some cancer. The thinking woman. Spirit messages you have a sign of cancer. An adopted child is about to become significant in a cancer's life soon. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. An adopted child is about to become significant in a cancer's life soon. So you plug it in, how it resonates. An adopted child, so that could be your adopted child, somebody else's adopted child. However, that plugs in one's life. Some kind of adopted child energy is about to become significant in a cancer's life soon. Okay. 
Number 26 or 47 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 26 or 47, it could be possible age of years might you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life in some shape, form, or fashion. 26 or 47. We have air sign energy, dragonfly energy. For some, you could be dealing with air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If you are, they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hammer, Jupiter charts, if you are. You have Lily, spiritual love, rainbow, the most difficult part of the situation is over, September, the thinking woman, and sanctuary. Dragonfly. For some, you know, uh, air sign has completely scammed you. For some, you're about to expose them very publicly. Oh, my Lord. I heard for some of you guys, you know, an air sign has scammed you. And for some of you guys, you're about to expose them very sp publicly. So some kind of scamming energy. For some, it's online catfishing. For some, it was lies regarding another person. Okay, I heard for some it was online, some it's online catfishing, and for some it was, uh, it's lies regarding another person. So this air sign has scammed you in some shape, form, or fashion, whether they um, has scammed, have scammed you online with some kind of catfishing energy, or they um, lied to you about a person, um, whoever this person is and how they apply. Um, only you know your story, Cancer, not anybody else, but whoever this is for, whether they scammed you online was catfishing energy or they lied to you um regarding communication or 3d regarding another person you're about to expose them for some of you very 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 publicly i heard it was an air sign so gemini libra aquarius energy they could have gemini libra aquarius in their sun moon rising venus ortho and behavior jupiter charts if that resonates for you cancer Lily, spiritual love. A particular cancer has a deep, deep, deep spiritual connection with another person. Feminine energy. Okay, I heard a, um, a cancer has a deep, deep, deep spiritual connection with another person. I heard fem, fem energy. So um, whoever you are, cancer, um, for some, this could be a reader. Um, for some, they may not be. But you do have a deep spiritual connection with another person. Now, spiritual connection is not lovey-dovey kisses and hot, rough sex up against the wall with choking or what have you. It's a spiritual connection. So I'm feeling this is a reader for some of you guys. Um that you have a deep spiritual connection with. I think they pull your energy. I think they, um, I think you utilize readings from them. It could be personal readings or collective public readings. But how that resonates, I think they, I think if it's a reader, they um, are accurately reading your energy is what I feel. If it is a reader. If it's not a reader, it could be anybody that you have a deep spiritual connection with. But like I said, spiritual connections are completely different than like relationships or third party situationships or prostitutes or something like that. It's a spiritual connection. It's on the spiritual realm, astral projection, tele telepathy, 5D connection there. So I think that, uh, whether they're a reader or not, they definitely have abilities in some shape, form or fashion. I think clairaudience, clairvoyance, clairsentience, psychic medium abilities. They could be a psychic investigator or dreamscape abilities. It, I heard it is a feminine energy. And one cancer is about to expose another cancer. A huge fraud profited off the Secret 7 situation in the past in a huge way. Oh my God, I heard Secret 7. So you plug it in, how it resonates. And I, ooh. So one of you cancers, I heard you're about to expose another cancer for um, profiting off of the Secret 7 situation in the past in a huge way. 
So um, you you plug it in, how it resonates. They can't pop it off. If if it's um, if it was readings, they can't do that. I just want to say that if it's readings, they can't use the term secret seven because I have it copyrighted. So maybe one of you guys knows. It sounds like I didn't hear copyright infringement, but if it's a, another reader, they can't do that. Or if they profited in the 3D off the uh, Secret 7 situation, um, they can't do that because I'm the original single mom Leo of the Secret 7. So, but I think one of you guys know that. You know that, and uh, I think that's why you're about to expose them. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. For some, it could have been air sign that profited off the Secret 7 situation. For some, it could have been somebody else. But it is a cancer. Uh, well, for some, I heard it was a cancer knows another cancer um profited off the secret seven situation so you cancer you know another cancer profited off the secret seven situation for some an air sign could have but i heard another cancer profited off but you cancer know this oh interesting okay so you plug in how it resonates rainbow the most difficult part of a situation is over for some it could have been a cancer reader that profited off of them is what i'm feeling for the spiritual love card um, but if it's a cancer reader that profited off the Secret 7 situation, I would love to know because I would love to sue the hell out of them. And I'm just being for real because they can't do that. That's the truth. There's a reason people have copyrights. Rainbow, the most difficult part of the situation is over. An air sign made a huge, huge, huge mess of the past. A huge mess. A particular cancer is about to make a particular report on a particular air sign. A federal report. Very important federal report. It is about to be damning on this air sign. And things are about to move very, very, very fast. It will not go well for this air sign. Oh, my Lord, you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh, my Lord. So one of you guys knows an air sign made a huge, huge, huge mess of the past. Whoever this air sign is and however they resonate, you're pulling in air sign energy very, very strong. I know I keep looking over there, and I'm sorry, but I've got to get plumber to come out tomorrow because, one, my sink stopped up. Both sides are stopped up, so I've got the drain person coming out tomorrow. But just skirt back and let you know real quick. And I tried to, I got a new fridge, and I was going to, install it in myself into the spot with help of my kids but i tried to undo the line the um water line to the old fridge and it started squirting out water everywhere so i tried to put it back it's still leaking so i'm looking to make sure that it's not leaking too far into my kitchen so i apologize um and um the plumbing company will, will come and help me with that as well but i have to um it'll be tomorrow so Anyways, I heard a air, um, you know, an air sign made a huge, huge, huge mess of the past. Whoever you are, cancer, and how this resonates. I heard you're about to file a federal report on them. Um, a federal report, man, that sounds pretty um, serious, if you ask me. Um, I heard it's going to be very, very, very effective. Very effective. I feel you might be a position of authority. I didn't hear you are, but whoever this message is for, you don't have to be, but I feel you might be. You might be um, for some. For some, you might not be. But um, you know, I think you know the process of filing this federal report. I heard it's going to be very, very, very effective. It's going to go very fast, and it's not going to go well for this air sign. So whoever this air sign is and however they resonate. Um, regarding the Secret 7 situation. Regarding the Secret 7 situation. Wow, we're pulling this Secret 7 in here strong. Regarding the Secret 7 situation. So you're about to file a federal report on this air sign regarding the Secret 7 situation of the past. It is somebody that I think a core member of the Secret 7 from the past is what I think. It could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. They could have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, and Jupiter charts. So if that resonates for you, Cancer, I have not pulled Secret 7 in any of the 
uh, signed so far in June of 2022, but I'm pulling Secret 7 in very strong in yours. You plug it in, how it resonates, and an air sign. My goodness. Heart is going to be very effective, and it's going to make things go very fast. So that's why another reason I think you're a position of authority, and I think you're very knowledgeable on these reports, and I think you're knowledgeable on the situation, um, or you're about to become whoever you are, Cancer, and how that resonates. Wow. That's that's beautiful energy, though. I heard it's going to go fast, and it's going to be very effective. So whoever you are and how this applies. So the most difficult part of the situation is over. I'm thinking that's the Secret 7 situation. This air sign made a huge ass mess of the Secret 7 situation. You're about to I think you're about to help fix it or create steps to help fix it. How that resonates and applies. For one cancer, a breakup has been hard, but you know intuitively it's the best thing for you. Okay, I heard for one cancer, you know a break uh, a breakup has been hard. So I think a breakup, somebody broke up with you or you broke up with somebody else. However, that applies in one's life, cancer, but I heard uh, intuitively you know it's the best thing for you. So you're highly intuitive, whoever you are and whether you got broke up with or... Um, or uh, you broke up with the other person. For some, it could be an air sign you broke up with or an air sign broke up with you, possibly. But only you know your story, not anybody else. But um, some kind of breakup energy, whether you broke up with them or they broke up with you, but you're highly intuitive, you know it's the best thing for you. So the difficult part of the situation over in this is over in this aspect. It's the breakup energy. You plug it in, how it resonates. September. A cancer is about to create many series of shame events to get a feminine energy, lots of assistance. Lots of assistance to where they can relocate. And in one situation, they're stolen money back. Their life will look completely different by September of 2022. Oh my Lord, this is beautiful cancer. So this resonates for you. Um, you're about to help uh, feminine energy get assistance. Um, you could be masculine or feminine uh, cancer, whoever you are and how this applies. But I heard you're about to help a feminine energy get assistance. Now, however, you're going to help them get assistance. It could be financial. It could be physical. It could be information. It could be a plethora of different things. But you're about to help them get assistance in some shape or fashion. Um, and I heard they're um, to help them relocate. To help them relocate, um, it sounds like they're in a toxic area. For some, they could be dealing with some kind of Secret 7 situation, either currently or in the past, because we're pulling a Secret 7 in here very strong, or not. But however that resonates, um, you're about to help them get a lot of assistance so that they can relocate. Um, there's a reason you're about to help them get assistance to relocate. I think they're in a toxic environment or a toxic community or somewhere toxic to where they can get... Um, they can grow and flourish wherever they're at they're not growing and flourishing you know this you're highly intuitive so you're about to get them assistance um now whatever kind of assistance that is i'm not sure only you know your story not anybody else um i heard their life will look completely different by september um it sounds like once they get this assistance so you plug it in how it resonates for some it could be an air sign you're about to give get assistance to for some it could be another sign only you know your story not anybody else but I heard by September 2022, so we're in May now, June, July, August, September, that's four months, so I mean, I heard their life's going to look completely different, so beautiful, that's beautiful energy, Cancer, you can be masculine or feminine, you plug it in, how it resonates. And by September of 2022, several people will be in prison soon, federal prison. Some regarding Secret 7 situations of the past, some 
regarding pitfall rings. Some regarding illegal abortion clinics. Oh my God. So you plug it in how it resonates. Whoa. And so uh, by September 2022, I heard several people will be in federal prison. Federal prison. Um, I pulled prison energy in and Capricorn's reading too. Um, I heard some of these people, um, they're regarding Secret 7 situations. So if you're all about Secret 7 in here today, Cancer. Um, some regarding Secret 7 situations, either currently or in the past. Some pedophile rings and some illegal abortion clinics. So I think you're about to help put these people in federal prison for some of you guys, whether it's with information or maybe, maybe you're a lawyer or maybe you are a citizen with, I mean, however that resonates, but um, you're about to take some positive action to help put these assholes in prison, whether they run a pedophile ring or have run a pedophile ring or whether they run some kind of illegal abortion clinics or did run an illegal abortion clinic or they were involved in secret seven situations of current energy or past energy however that resonates this is september 2022 the thinking woman i'm feeling i'm pulling in a lot of um wealthy cap uh cancers or position high authority cancers with this reading I mean, for some, you may not be, and I don't judge anybody on financial situations. Trust me, trust me, trust me. I most certainly do not. Um, but, um, cause it, well, even if I had $10 million, I wouldn't judge somebody. And that's just the truth. I, I, I don't care if I had a hundred mil, 10 mil, or what I have in the bank now, which is definitely not no 10 mil. Um, but my point is, is I, nobody should have Nobody should look down on anybody when it comes to financial status, period, point blank, bar none. I don't care who you are and what your status is in the world. But I do feel some of you guys are, you have connections or you're wealthy or your positions of high authority with these messages. And I'm serious about that. I, I mean, I'm serious. I feel you have pull is what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to make this about money. I'm just saying I feel you have pull in some shape, form, or fashion. A Cancer Feminine is about to learn very important information that they did not know in the past. Some regarding an affair, some regarding drug smuggling. They're about to deliver it to a very important person in a corporate entity soon. For some, a very important person on a school board. Whoa, you plug it in how it resonates. We've got corporate entity energy and school board energy. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else, Cancer. So you plug it in how it resonates. But some of you guys, um, you're about to learn information on um, some on uh, drug smuggling, some on, um, uh, what was the other one? Drug smuggling and um, there was another one. There was another one. You'll have to go back and check it. And assault. And assault. Drug smuggling, assault, and there was another one. There was a third one, though. You'll have to go back and check it. Um, but whoever you are, whether it's drug smuggling, assault, or that other one, um, I heard you're going to deliver it to very important people. It's information you didn't know in the past, but you're about to learn it, whether it's drug smuggling, assault, or the third one. Um, and you're about to deliver it, some to somebody on a school board, some to somebody in a corporate entity. So, uh, oh, an affair. So it's either about assault, an affair, or um, drug smuggling, but you did not know this information, um, but you're about to learn it, and you're about to deliver it, whoever you are and how this applies. Some of you guys, I heard it's to a school board, some it's to a um, um, corporate entity, um person or people it could even be possibly a board on this corporate entity in this corporate entity possibly but i did hear school board for one of them so you plug it in how it resonates wow so a fair assault and um um a fair assault and um uh, drug smuggling drug smuggling so uh i heard you're a cancer femme 
So you could have cancer in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, hammer, Jupiter, charts. I think you're about to mull over this information, contemplate this information. I heard it's information you didn't know in the past, and then you're about to deliver it. So, um, yeah, I mean, absolutely. Um, absolutely. I mean, that's serious information. Drug smelling, affair, and um, uh, assault, those are all very, very, very serious. Very serious. Um, so you're about to think on this situation, on the information, you're about to mull over it, and then you're about to deliver it um, using your air sign energy. You're about to use your air sign energy with the thinking woman that's air sign energy. And that could be another reason why we have the air sign card in here as well. And you're about to um, deliver it, some to a school board, some to a corporate person or people. That's a good one. I think it's about to create change is what I think. Sanctuary. A particular person has really been keeping to themselves recently. You're highly intuitive. You know why. For some. For some, you're about to find out why. Serious drug, drug, drug habit here. Serious. Oh my God. You plug it in how it resonates. For some, it's your family member. For some, it's a prostitute you used to utilize services from. Why do we keep pulling in so much prostitute energy in Cancer's reading? Y'all are the only one I've been pulling prostitute energy in recently for. You plug it in, how it resonates. So, um, somebody's got a drug, drug problem. And I'm just being serious. Somebody's got a drug problem. I heard they've really, really been keeping to themselves. That's the sanctuary energy. That can be scared energy, or that can just be keep it to yourself, like permit mode energy. Um, but in this aspect is hermit mode energy, but for strategic reasons, because they heard they have a drug problem. I didn't hear what kind of drugs it is. Only this person knows their story, not anybody else. And I've heard for some, you know why. So you know they have a drug problem. For some, you're about to learn why, and it's because they have a drug problem. So you plug it in how it resonates. For some, it is a, a prostitute, I heard. And for some, it is a, um, a family member of yours. So you plug it in how it resonates, Cancer. I didn't hear what kind of drugs. It could be masculine or feminine energy. I heard prostitute. Now, males, prostitutes are called gigolos. Um, and I have, have heard gigolo in here before. So I think it's a female prostitute. I'm just being serious because I have heard gigolo before. And that's a male. So I think it's a feminine prostitute or a family member, masculine or fem family member, if this resonates for you, Cancer. Wow. So they're trying to um, hide the fact that they're on drugs again or been doing drugs the whole time. How that resonates. For some, it could be air sign. For some, it could be somebody else. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Lord have mercy. And that could be the thinking woman energy too, whether you're masculine or feminine, about thinking about um, um, turning it. Maybe you're going to report this person um, to the police. So they can, I mean, so they can get arrested, get locked up and get their ass sober or get them rehab or something. Um, however that resonates and applies, you plug it in how it resonates. Yikes. For some, the family member is a fire sign. For some, they are a water sign. Same with the prostitute. Okay, I heard for some the um, fire sign. Um, for some, the prostitute or the family member is a fire sign or a water sign. They could have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. You plug it in, how it resonates. Um, that's terrible. It really is. It is. I mean. The terrible that they don't love themselves enough that they do drugs. I mean, you should love yourself enough. I don't care um, 
what your life situation is in life. You should never want to harm yourself um, with drugs because it just makes um, makes your mental state go down. It makes, um, I mean, I never, I don't do drugs. I'm a 38 year old, old woman, single mama. I have no desire to do drugs. I like living a very peaceful, beautiful life, um, growing and manifesting myself with my kids. But my point is, is, I don't get I don't get that because I am not built that way. My mind is not wired that way to want to every time something doesn't go my way, go shoot something up into my veins or snort something or um or something like that. It never has been that way. But I guess some people's mind is wired that way to where they have negative coping mechanism skills that where things don't go their way, they want to shoot something up to make themselves feel better or snort something up or what have you, what have you. I mean it is what it is. I'm not judging these people. I just don't get it, is all I'm saying. A cancer really was fighting against a settlement in the past, but through many series of chain events, they're about to help make it happen. Okay, I heard a cancer was really fighting against the settlement in the past, but through many series of shame events, they're about to help make it happen. So whoever you are and how this applies, cancer, you can be masculine or femme cancer. Only you know your story, not anybody else, but you were, I heard you were fighting against the settlement in the past. So I think fighting against the settlement for person, people, place, or situation. But I heard um, you did that in the past, but now it sounds like soon through many series of chain events, you're about to create, you're about to help make it happen is what it sounds like so uh, it sounds like you've had a change of heart or a change of mindset or maybe both i'm not sure only you know your story not anybody else you plug it in how it resonates all right you guys i hope this helps so much everybody make wonderful choices hope you don't go um sanctuary yourself in um locking yourself in a home and shooting some up your veins or snorting some up your nasal passages or uh, what is it when people um put the drugs in their, they like swallow the drugs, drug track them across the line and all that shit. I saw that in jail when I worked there, just saying. Um, I don't know what that's called, but none of that either, just saying. Love you guys, namaste.